sometimes I need a good dose of wholesome in my life. I mean, don't we all? Especially when shit like Parallel Paradise exists. During this time of craving, I came across a new anime out called For My Daughter, I Would Even Defeat a Demon Lord. I watched it, and you know what? I loved it to shit. This little girl named Latina shows up in this series with her father, Dale, who finds her in the forest and decides to raise her. And it's just, this whole episode just screamed good shit vibes. So I decided to read the light novels to further experience these good vibes. To experience more of those wholesome good feels that I felt from the series that made the show honestly one of my most favorite animes of that season. I truly, truly wish that I could recommend to you guys to read the light novels and experience it for yourself, but I can't, I truly can't in good conscience. And the reason for that being, spoiler alert, turn off this fucking video if you don't want to know what happens in the end, he decides to fucking marry his daughter. Yum! Incest is fine if you keep it in the family. So I was excruciatingly mortified after I finished this. I kept wondering to myself, why? Why does this very weird genre keep showing up in our niche little world? Why do guys who become fathers by picking up little girls that need them and help raise them into teenagers then decide to fuck each other? Because yes, this isn't the only series to exist that has this. What in yeehaw Alabama? And what you may have gathered is that this isn't my first rodeo with this genre, no. And actually, there is one series that is quite popular for this genre. And, spoiler alert, once again, turn off this fucking video if you don't want to know what it is, is called Usagi Drop. Usagi Drop became an instant hit in this community when the anime adaption came out in 2012. We get to see this little girl who was abandoned by her parents get raised by this guy who has no parenting skills whatsoever. We saw our two characters overcome the pains of abandonment, the stress of everyday life, and the happiness that comes from finding a place for yourself in another person. And then she grows up and he decides to stick his dick in her in his late 40s. So long are the days of seeing a father try and style his five-year-old daughter's hair in this cute little way even though it's kind of messy. Now we get to see their married life together, which is a fucking sin against man. Third impact, I'm fucking waiting for you. No one told me about the ending to this series, okay? So in reality, I'm doing you all a fucking favor and sparing your asses the time and heartbreak that inevitably comes from loving an anime child as your own. Because some ugly bastard is gonna come along and fuck her! Calling it now, all of the girls in Ugly Bastard Hentai have started out like it's this way as children, just filled to the brim with daddy issues. This is our lives now. They are looting our babies. The worst thing, the worst fucking thing about this genre is the little girls. We see these girls as they are essentially babies. We grow up alongside them. We see them read for the first time and see them meet new people and make friends and just essentially experience the world for the first time. And in a lot of ways, you feel like these girls' parents. And then you start to see them slowly form feelings for their dad and when all is said and done, you see the worst possible outcome unfold. And then you finish it, you put it down, you stare at the wall, and you ask yourself, what the fuck did I just read? Who was this for? Who asked for this? Because we need to find them and sacrifice them to God as a way of repentance for how filthy this world has become! Latina! Like the word daughter was in the fucking title. How could you trick us like this and be able to fall asleep at night? She was a cute little fucking bean that we got to see learn how to read. How could you tarnish my baby? Also, in every story that I've read with this genre, the development between the characters makes no sense. Like one day you're like, hey, let me change your fucking diapers. And then the next you're like, hey, why don't we make a fucking baby? Like what happened between those times? People defend this genre all the time by saying, well, they're not blood related. What's the big deal? So? Is the fucking fact that they aren't related the only thing that matters to you? Of course, 
thankfully they aren't fucking related and I don't even want to talk about that because this is a safe for work video and I just don't even want to go down that path but have you ever considered the fucking age difference or the fact that he raised her but alas no matter what I do it doesn't erase the fact that this shit is out there and more and more unknowing victims will fall into its convincing trap more and more victims will finish it set it down and then think huh maybe death isn't the worst thing that could happen because this shit this is the kind of shit that the government uses on spies to get them to talk okay this is the kind of experience that makes you realize shit it's fucking impossible to unread things i am going deeper into insanity because of shit like this. I didn't even think that was possible. There is already so much heartbreak going on in this world. I don't know who, why this needed to be thrown in there and just make it worse, but it's there and it's just something we're gonna have to live with, I guess. Just another reason why my faith in humanity has all but disappeared, okay? You can't even question it, can you? Even if the series had good aspects, like you get to see these girls grow up and it's so wholesome and it's a good time initially, all it really is is just adding salt to the wounds, isn't it? Because it's just the ending just... Just... And thankfully, they will be forever known in this community as these series. And in reality, that's probably for the fucking best. Because what the fuck? <laughs> we'll never love anything again. <sighs> Thank you guys for watching this video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I love making the content I do, but because it's so odd, it is often demonetized. So if you are thinking about supporting this channel, then please type in this link here or check the link in the description. Thank you guys again, and try not to be as traumatized as I am and live your life to the fullest. Never love again. Goodbye. <laughs>